Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Taylor and I would like to welcome you to my channel. Um, today's look is a very simple, um, natural type, I mean is that natural, but it's a very um, simple, fast look. This is my everyday look. This is my go-to. This is my look that you will see me in 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, I really like neutrals. I like a neutral lip. I do not like to go too crazy with my makeup unless I have an event or I am bored and want to play, play it up with something. So yeah, and this is what I mostly do. This is, in, this is the look I do in most of my pictures and stuff like that. If I want to get a little daring, um, the only thing I will do is stick with the colors and maybe put some like, like glitter on my lid instead of like a shimmer color. Um, or throw some falsies on or change the lip color to something a little bit more dramatic, but I'm a neutral girl. Bronzy, neutrals, those are my things. Um, I don't think I've done a <clears throat> crazy look for you guys yet, but that might be my next video for you guys. Something with a little bit of color, not neutrals, because I think all my videos so far <laughs> have been <laughs> very, very neutral. So, yeah. Um, if you guys want to learn how to get this look, just keep on watching. Alright, so to start off today with the face, I'm going to use some of Becca's backlighting. Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Why all these have such long names? Don't know. But I'm out of it, so I don't know how much, how much I'm going to get. It's a little squirting. Once you have that blended in, I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, of this facial spray. Just to add some more hydration to my face before I go in with some foundation. So for our foundation today, today for today, I'm going to be using the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but I'm also going to be using some of Becca's Aqua Luminous Perfecting foundation. Um, I'm going to be using these two today. I'm just a little, I've been outside a lot this week, so I've kind of gotten a little bit of a tan, so this is a little, a little too light. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit of this, just, just so it's not so light, like it's pretty, it matches my hand, but you know, my hand is a little bit, whatever. Alright, then I'm just going to take a nice beauty blender. And then just go ahead and blend that in. have that all blended in, um, I'm going to be taking Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Nail Neutral.
Okay, once you have that on, it's going to blend away. Okay, once you have that all nice and blended in, I'm now going to set the under eye. Sorry, my hair keeps like tickling in the back of my head. So for a translucent powder today, I'm going to be taking RCMA No Color Powder. And then I just like to pour that into a lid. Sorry, I was like looking at some like weird chunky stuff in here. But yeah, just pour it into a lid. And again, all my videos, you guys know, I do not like baking because I feel like it dries out my under eye and it just looks gross. So, I just still take it on my beauty blender and I don't take a lot and my beauty blender is pretty um, damp. So, I just go ahead and place that right under the eye and then I just blend that out right away. I don't let it like sit and bake. I mean, you can hear how wet my beauty blender is. And do the other eye. And then I like to do the top of the lid because it gives a nice primer for eyeshadow. You don't use any like eyeshadow primer. I just never have, so. I just keep doing what I'm doing. Alright. I'm gonna get into those creases, smile lines, all that jazz. So then once you do that, I'm gonna do some powder. And I've been using the um, Tinted Skin Blurring Finish Powder by It Cosmetics. And it's a very loose um, translucent powder or not translucent loose powder and I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush like so and just place it all over the skin So then for bronzer, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Collab in the color Topaz, and that looks like this, and I'm going to be using the bronzer. Then I'm just taking a Real Techniques brush, the buffing brush. I did order the Jaclyn Hill Favorites brush kit. Kit from Morphe. So we'll see how those brushes are. Sorry, it's my dog in the background barking. I probably, maybe, will be able to edit that out. Okay, so I'm just bronzing up the face. I'm not doing anything crazy. Again, this is like... Fast. Okay, fast, fast, fast. Um, I'm going to take some of that translucent powder again. And again, I don't like baking, but I just want to not make it so messy. I want it to look like I only took 15 minutes. I wanted to make it look like I took time you know decent amount of time to do my makeup today so I'm going to do brows real quick and then we'll move on to eyes 
Once you have your brows done, I'm um, going to move on to the eyes. And for the brows today, I used Cabal, Cabrow by Benefit in the color number 3. I do want to get my eyebrows um, microbladed, I think. Because I just... Doing my brows gets annoying. So... For the eyes today, the palette I'm going to be using is the Violet Voss Ride or Die palette. I, the colors I'm going to use today are up here, and those are the color these ones, and then a couple of browns over here. These are the colors I used for prom as well. So yeah, let's get into the eyes. So I'm going to be taking up, picking up Leslie as my transition shade. And I'm just going to be taking this fluffy brush. It's a little tapered because I have not like huge eye space. Um, so it can get right in the places it needs to get into. So I'm just kind of placing that. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. my everyday fast look that looks like I put effort into it. Then I'm going to be taking Abigail and just kind of deepening up that shade just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm taking Caitlyn, this orangey shade, and just kind of going in the crease just to warm it up a tiny bit. I really like orange shades on my um, eyes. I just feel like it brings out the copper tones in my eyes. And you know, just some windshield wiper motions, you know, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to just pop a little just smoke it out a little bit and I'm going to be using Josie and that's this top brown one right here all in the same brush so literally it's going to be very very fast you know I don't want to be looking for all these brushes when I need to get ready and need to run out of the house and the more you guys do, you know, practice your signature look for like every day, the faster you're gonna get at it. Cause you'll know what to do. You don't have to like think like, okay, where, what am I putting here? What am I putting there? You know, you just are like, boom, boom, boom. Let's go. So just smoking that out. Just a teensy bit. Guys, I'm so excited that my haul video almost has like 2k views. Isn't that crazy? I did not think that that would get so many views on it. I'm so excited. I have some new exciting things coming soon. I'm just going to keep it a secret for a little bit. It's nothing too crazy, but for me, I think it's a little exciting for me. It's just one step further into this. I mean, I did not think that I would have people reaching out to me like I am. So I think that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm just doing this for a hobby, but if people are reaching out to me, why not? All right, so for the lid, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer um, just to 
give it a little bit of something. Um, you can totally skip this. You can do like a very like neutral shade. You know, you can throw Erica on there and just do that. Um, but I'm going to be using this flat brush and picking up Isabel. La Isabella. This one right here. It's a very pretty. shimmery pink color. Oh, um, I am going to spritz the brush with my Pixie spray. Place it not all over, just on the inner to mid lid. Go back in with Josie and just blend it into that shimmer. Uh, all right. So now that eyes are like halfway done, I'm gonna move on to the face real quick, and I'm just gonna put some blush on and some highlight and then we'll do the under eye and we're almost done so again real fast i want this really easy for you guys so i'm just gonna this palette looks so disgusting i'm so sorry this is like my travel one um i was just in arizona as you guys know and then i was just in wisconsin not last week but the weekend before so everything kind of is broken but my huge you know the nars orgasm blush And if you guys don't even want to put highlight on, you can just walk out with this and it will give you a little bit of something as like a glow. So it has some of that shimmer in it already. But I just like the color of this pink blush. For highlight today, I'm going to be using the color Mary Lou from the Balm Cosmetics. And I'm just going to be taking up my Y14 brush from the Gilded Collection from Morphe. I like, forgot I had this highlighter. So I'm also going to take it and pop it in my inner corner. And then on my brow bone. And then this brush doesn't really have much of anything on it. Just to blend it all out so you don't have any harsh lines. Okay, and then for the under eye, I'm just going to be taking everything that I did on the top on the bottom except for Leslie. So I'm going to take Abigail and Caitlin and just pop that on my under eye. And then I'm going to be taking my Y21 brush and be taking up Josie. And I'm just going to take that as close as to as close to the um, 
my eyelashes as possible. And I'm not gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna stop like in the center. Just to give some sort of like liner look. Perfect. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And hopefully you guys don't do that. All right. And then before I do mascara and lips, I am going to set my face. And I like to do set my face before I do mascara. It's just because my eyelashes are so long and you know you, you do squint a little bit and then that the mascara gets wet and then it gets all over my under eye. And that's just a pain. So again, the Pixie Glow Mist from Target. Well that's where I get mine. I'm sure you can get it other places. I'll do lips and then I'll do um, mascara last as this all dries. So for lips today, I'm going to be using MAC Spice Lip Liner. Okay, and then for lipstick type stuff, um, the Kim Kardashian West and Kylie Cosmetics collaboration. I want to like these so much, but I just don't like the way they look on the lips. I mean, they cling to every dry spot possible, and it's just not good but I'm gonna keep trying them I try wearing them with like a um, lip liner to see if that helps but it doesn't so I'm using Kim first Okay, so I before I started today um, for my lips, I did put on some Aquaphor on my lips, so it really helps to get that moisture back into your lips. And with the lip liner and everything, not bad, not bad at all. And I'm not gonna use the darker one. I think I like this. I think I like this look. All right. All right, then for mascara, I'm going to be using my go-to ride or die mas <laughs> mascara, and that is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. So I tried, you know, this is just drugstore. I've tried all of the, not all, but most of the, um, like higher end mascaras that are like $20, $30 and I just don't think that it's worth it. I mean, I found a mascara that's cheap, 
mine as well I feel like I go through mascara a lot and it's like I don't want to spend 20 30 dollars every time I need new mascara I just my eyelashes are already long all I want is some volume so if you have an expensive um, mascara that's working for you don't think you have to change it or so I was gonna go in with my brush and just buff out those little dots. You have to add a little bit more product, that's fine. Just buff those suckers away. Alright guys, this is the final look right here. I hope you guys enjoyed my fast get ready with me type thing. Um, but yeah, this look is so versatile. You can switch up the colors on how you, you know, apply it. You know, if you do not like the orangey colors, you can do whatever type of color you want. Um, but yeah, this is my fast everyday look. I, you know, I'm a hairstylist, so I want to look good, but sometimes in the morning when I wake up super early to go to work, I just don't want to sit there and like glam my whole face out. So I usually just stick with the neutrals, make it fast, and still look like I kind of put some effort into it. It's summer now, you know, you don't want to wear tons of makeup right now, so I feel like this is a good, um type of look for right now, um, especially with the lip, you know, you're not using like a um, liquid lipstick, um, you know, this is, well, liquid to matte lipstick, you know, it's still glossy, you can still, it's moisturizing and things like that, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!